ARCHICAD 25 update 2 has some new features in it that weren't available in the initial release of ARCHICAD 25. The full list can be seen here on this website and I will add a link to this web page in the description for this video. Update 2 is also known as build 4013 so any build from 4013 onwards will have these new features as well. The first three features here are possibly ones that we might use, which I'll just quickly explain and show you how they work. The other features we probably won't deal with very much, but feel free to go through this list and read up about them. The first one zones appear in sections and elevation views and they can now be labelled. What that means is that we always had zones with zone stamps in floor plans. That's exactly the same as it was before. We can leave that with no change. We have the choice now of turning these zone stamps off and labeling the zones. Labels might be a little bit more flexible, but the big advantage is that we can now do it in sections and elevations as well. So with the floor plan, as I say, we can leave it as it is, or we can go into the model view options and we can choose our model view option combination and we can simply say turn the zone stamps off and you just need to repeat that for all of the various model view option combinations or schemes and then just say OK. Now the zone stamps have turned off very easy to add labels there's a few things that we need to adjust a little bit with these so I'll create a new video particularly for labeling zones but just to show you quickly all I have to do is pick my label tool make sure that it's set up as I want it I've actually set up a favorite so again these won't be in existing jobs you need to load favorites and there's a separate video for loading favorites but we need to load the favorites pick the one here that's the auto text for the floor plan there is a special label tool as well that acts very much like the zone tool in which you can turn on things like room areas, finishes and various other bits of information that you might want to show on the zone stamp. We traditionally just show the room name if anything. The new zone label will do very much the same sort of thing. The auto text is just a piece of text that is looking for the zone name but again you can add extra auto text to look for other things like again zone areas and things like that we just need to arrange the text in the order that you want it to be if you use extra auto text so all I need to do is select the label activate the favorite select all of my zones so I'll go to the zone tool and simply say control A and once all my zones are selected I can then use the label command to say document document extras label all selected elements the shortcut is control shift L so all I have to do is now just go control shift L or pick that from the list and you can see all these zones have labeled with the zone name because that's what I've told the label to do all I might need to do is to select an actual label and reposition it because the the label will end up exactly in the center of the zone so it finds the center point again I'll create a video explaining exactly all the settings and how it all works and things like that but the great thing about this now is that we've got the room names quite easily on the floor plan as I say we could have kept the, the old zone stamps there's no difference really but what I can do now is when I open up a section I can now label the zones in sections. The first thing I've got to do is turn the zones on. There's an option in the legacy, so project preferences, legacy. By default with old jobs, the legacy option will be turned on to say hide the zones and their associated labels, just as it was in version 24 and before, so no difference there. But by turning that off and saying OK, and then activating a layer set that shows the zones so the floor plan you'll see the zones in section and again I'll explain this because basically all we need to do is label the zones 
and hide the zones leaving the labels behind so I've got my zones active exactly as I did in the floor plan all I need to do is go to my label tool select all the zones control shift L and there's all your label names again they will go in exactly in the center so you can see here the ensuite actually wrapped around the back of the WC so that's why it's sort of a bit off the actual zone is larger behind basically you can rearrange the text wherever you want it's simply a label and you can select that label move it wherever you move it to it's still associated to that particular zone if I turn the zones off now so if I go into the layers and say show me the sections and details the zones will get turned off the labels will remain and that's purely because the labels have got an option in here to say hide with associated elements and that's been turned off so by hiding the zone I'm not hiding the label the label and the zone can be in different layers so this is just a standard text default layer and the zone is in its own zones and quantities layer so it's quite easy now to add zone room names to sections if we need to you can also do it in elevations we tend to not show room names in elevations so that's one feature the second feature that was in the list was to do with the graphic overrides when you go into the graphic overrides and you go into the rules you obviously set the criteria for what the rules going to do but now with the fill background pen we now have an option of not just the pen color so you've got the pen color where you can you can come into here and you can actually choose the pen color that you want to show and choose the actual pen color we've got the 255 pens that we can choose we've got the null pen we've got the screen background pen and because it's a zone that I'm dealing with here in the criteria we've got the zone pen which is a red green blue color by default anyway but we also now have a pure red green blue color RGB is what they call it we can choose any particular color and any shade of that color that we want so it's all adjustable you can set the values if you happen to know a value and just say okay and you've got that you've got exactly the same with surface fills we used to have just the actual surface where you could choose from the list of surfaces but now what you've got is you can also choose a red green blue color you can set any color that you like just by simply setting the intensity and the color that you want say okay you can also set the transmittance so if it's got zero transmittance it's solid if it's a hundred percent transmittance it will act like glass and basically become see-through that applies to any of the override styles we've now got these background actual RGB colors so you're not set to the 255 pens that we've got as standard the third feature that might be of use to us is to do with schedules so obviously we have a floor plan here if I go into my window schedule and open the window schedule up you'll see I've got about if I expand this you've got about 13 windows in this schedule now some of these windows happen to be the same size as each other just zoom in a bit here so we've got here sliding door if I just go across just a little bit bit too far if I could just go across just to here you'll see that master suite has two windows in it window one window two both those windows are exactly the same size as each other they happen to be left and right hand but I'm not showing the actual orientation if I had a field over here that that was doing the orientation it would actually be notifying us to say that there was left hand and right hand window as well but what we can do now is these are very very similar windows we can always with our schedules we can merge items now in this particular case it's not going to make any difference because the ID is different so the ID is unique so these windows will not merge but what I can do is I can go back to the heading for the IDs and I can tell it to not just merge uniform items but I can tell it to merge uniform and various items by saying uniform and various items 
those two IDs were different, they were various, so I'm going to force them to merge. When I force them to merge, I can give the list of values, I can use the separator to separate those values, and I can also show a number of items here. So I can say to show the number of items or not. In this case, I will. So when I say OK, when we look at that now, you can see this window has now merged. There's one item for this window, but there's ID number one and ID number two, and there's one of each of those windows. So it's now listing as just one window. So rather than 13 individual windows being listed, I've now got less in my schedule. The same will happen a little bit further down. You'll see that we've got quite a few windows, activity windows, that are exactly the same size as each other. So the activity window, the study window, the home theatre window is exactly the same size. The bedroom four window is exactly the same size. There's obviously two windows in bedroom four that are the same size at the moment. The bedroom three window is exactly the same size. So if I go back to my headings again and go to the room name, the from zone room name, again, I don't want just uniform. I want to merge the uniform and various items. So if I merge the uniform and various items, again, I want to list their values, use the separator and show the number of items. And if I say OK now, what will happen is this schedule is much more condensed and you'll find that I've now got one entry here for all those windows that are the same size. Window number 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. One's in the activity, one's in the study, one's in the home theatre. There's two in bedroom 4 and one in bedroom 3. So it makes that schedule much smaller, much more concise and only the unique windows are showing. So this is available to any of these field headings. I can do the same thing for heights and widths and various other settings. Anything where I want to group or not group. So I can control as a general merge items. I can control things that exactly the same will merge. But I can also control where possibly there might be unique items. There's very, very similar objects, but they have unique features or unique fields. I can force those fields to merge. So that's the new features for update 2. As I say, there's more features here, but they're not really applicable to the things that we do. But feel free to go through this list and have a look and see what they are.